On behalf of the International Younger Chemists Network, my name is Bailey Morant, and we present the Virtual Visibility for Younger Chemists campaign. This is not a competition, but a platform for scientists around the world to share their research in the current climate. We are very excited to showcase a broad spectrum of topics, and we hope that you will interact with the presenters through social media to get more information. Remember that anyone under the age of 35 or within five years of their terminal degree is eligible for a free membership to IYCN. Please follow us on social media and check us out on our website, iycnglobal.com. Hi, I'm Yu Ha Feng, another graduate student from the University of Leeds. During my study abroad year at the National University of Singapore, I worked with my supervisor, Prof Yeo, and my mentor, Yen Song, on the electrochemical reduction of CO2 to give C3 oxygenase using a halite modified copper catalyst. Anthropogenic CO2 emissions are rising faster than ever seen before which poses numerous risks to humans and other living species. Carbon capture and storage methods have been employed to try to revert CO2 levels back to that comparable to pre-industrial times, but are not carbon neutral. So, with the advancement into renewables in the future, one day we will produce more energy than we require. We can harness this excess energy from renewable means to power the conversion of waste CO2, giving useful and energy-dense multi-carbon products such as propanol and propanaldehyde. My name is Annalisa Rigoni and I'm a first year chemistry PhD student at RMIT University working in collaboration with CSIRO, both based in Melbourne, Australia. Now, from phones to transportation, our world has never been more reliant on portable technology. Unfortunately, the batteries used to power these constantly evolving devices are beginning to reach the limits on the power they can provide. On top of this, many attempts at using more efficient battery materials are being met with constant challenges. My research takes a computational approach, looking at the use of a battery anode made of pure lithium metal and exposing it to a class of compounds called perfluorochemicals. We hope that by doing this, we can make a protective layer on the anode, allowing it to be safely used in a battery, which is more powerful and lasts longer. If you'd like to know more, you can reach out to our research group on Twitter at mspencergroup, or you can reach out to my Twitter handle at Stella. Thank you for listening.